Hello and welcome to this photo speed video with me, Tim Jones. So today what we're going to be looking at is can we get a decent print from a mobile phone? Now there are a few problems with the mobile phone when we come to printing. It's not always recommended because we cannot apply custom profiles when we're printing. And our phones use a, like a generic driver, like an air print device, as we call it. Now this can cause problems because it can't apply custom profiles. So our color could go off and we could have some kind of funny colors going on. Now, anybody who's ever printed on a Mac will know that there is also a generic driver called air print on a Mac. Now, this can cause us problems because what happens is the driver on the computer adds a profile and then our software will add a profile as well. Now this can cause all kinds of problems and it can double profile and they can clash against each other and cause some horrible colors going on. So hopefully, because we're only using one of those, because on our phone we can't apply custom profiles or generic profiles, we have to use just like built-in kind of color management that the printer is going to be producing for us. So we shouldn't have any double profiling going on. So it's something I haven't done before, and I'm really interested to find out what is going to happen and if we can actually get a decent print from a phone. Um, because there's always that odd occasion that we think, oh, I don't want to fire up the computer or go through and do a proper print or whatever. We just need a quick print. And if we can just get it from a mobile phone and we actually get really good results, I think it's, a, it's another weapon we can have in our armory, shall we say, when we come to printing. So today what I'm going to do is very briefly take you through kind of the Lightroom mobile on my phone because that's the app I have. There are many other apps out there that you can download like Snapseed and there's Photoshop, etc. But I'm just going to quickly use Lightroom um, just to have a quick edit in there. I'm not going to go too much into detail on that because we're more concentrated on actually getting a decent print out of this. So then I'll take you through how we go about sharing this to the printer and actually printing. Now I'm going to be using the Canon Pro 1000 today now, Canon have their own app for this, so do Epson, I believe HP do as well. Um, and then we need to use that app to send it to the printer because we have a lot more control over uh, paper sizes and media types and things like that when we're printing. So we can tell it if we're using matte or like luster or gloss papers as well. So we can go pretty much all there. The only thing we can't do is assign those profiles. So I'm really interested to find out if that actually makes any difference when we're printing from a phone and if the software and the app actually does a really great job as well. So I'm going to be printing a color and black and white as well because I'm really interested in the black and white process through a phone as well, which I'm hoping, or should I say, which I'm kind of expecting to be okay because I've had a quick look at the app and there is black and white mode in there as well. So that should, in theory, give us a really neutral black and white print, but I'm really interested to find out if it actually does. Okay, so first things first, let me just share my screen on my phone and then we can go through and actually start to make a print. Okay, so we're into Lightroom. Like I said before, I'm not going to go too much into the editing process of Lightroom and how we can use Lightroom to edit our own pictures. But you'll see down the bottom, you have a row of options in here, which correspond to the options in the development tab. So you've got selective editing where we can add in, say the little pins and masks and things. We've got the heel brush, the crop. Uh, presets as well so we can add our own presets in there to things we've got the light adjustment which is where you can do your curves adjustment and exposure and things in here um, you can add effects and we can alter the color and temperature and things in here as well so there's quite a lot and we can add a bit of sharpening and things in there as well so I've already edited this picture which was um, a little bit of my kind of ICME kind of work um, taking some kind of reflections in water and things and I thought it might be quite a nice picture to kind of have a look at and print. So the first thing we need to do is actually get this picture into the Canon app. 
So what we need to do is we need to share this. So we're going to click on the little um, icon at the top with the square with the arrow on just to share. And then I'm, what I'm going to do, we get all these options up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select share to. And now we'll have more options in here. We can send it to people in here and things. But what I want to do is we've got the apps down here. And I just want to scroll along. Then I'm going to click on the more option. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and find the Canon print app. And now the picture will open within the Canon print app for us. Okay. Now, a very simple app, it just fires up and we've got the picture now and it's just going to pop it in the middle of an A4 page for us. So what we can do is if we click on print settings, this is where we have our options in here. So we can use um, number of copies at the top here and then we've got um, underneath we've got print with paper that's set up on the printer. So whatever we set the printer for, it will use that for us. Now. You can ask a little tick box so we can tick it on and off. I'm just going to leave it off for the minute. So now we've got this option here if we want to print A4, if we want to play A2, we can print any size we want in here. So I'm going to stick it on A4 just to keep it on A4 for the minute. And the first print I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do it on a matte paper. So I'm going to select matte photo paper. Now in here, you may notice there is a cut down option in here. We haven't got all the fine art papers, etc., in here, but we do have those main types that we're going to be using. So I'm going to use the matte photo paper. Now, mainly on the computer, I would, split, I would select heavyweight fine art, but on this, I'm just going to select matte photo paper. Now we've got these options here if we want it bordered or borderless. We haven't got a lot of control in there. Now we've also got the color mode in here. So we can have it on monochrome or color. So this is a color image, so I'm gonna pop it on color. Okay, now that is all set. That That's kind of very simply how we set it up. Now we haven't got a lot of control over if we wanna move things around in here or anything like that. But now what we would do is we just click on print and then it would start to print for us. Okay, so here is the final print that has come out. Now, actually, it's quite a good representation, to be honest. Um, it's done quite a good job. The one thing I would say is the yellow tones are a little bit uh, muted, should we say. So I might just need to go back into the app and alter that. But apart from that, it's actually created a really nice print for me. So what I'm going to do now is I've done a color one, which actually did a quite a good job. So now I'm going to just pick a black and white and see if it can produce that neutral black and white we're all craving. OK, now we're back in the app. You'll notice on the screen I actually have a color image. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through just very quickly a little bit of processing. First thing we need to do is just change it to black and white. Now. We can do this if we've got a preset already selected, or what we can do is click on our color icon, and then at the top here, we have black and white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on black and white, and it changes it to black and white for me. Okay, that's great. Done quite a nice job in there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tweak very slightly, just a bit of contrast in there perhaps. Um, and then a bit of highlights as well. And what we can do is just make the flower just stand out a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is you can see I've actually got already some little kind of elliptical um, radial filters in here. So I can select one of these and then go into my options and we can then just tweak these individually just to make it all just stand out ever so slightly, a little bit better there, just stood out. And what I might do is just go back into that top elliptical and I'm just going to alter it ever so slightly. We can zoom in a little bit here. So I might add another one on to this flower here. Ooh, went too far there, there we are. That's evened it out a little bit there. Okay, so now we kind of got this image here. 
Okay, and then we go through the same process that when we go to print. So what we need to do is just come out of our, our selective editing, go up to our share option again, so then share two. And then what I'm going to do is go to the bar apps and then scroll along to more and then scroll down until I find my Canon print app. Now that is going to bring this picture up here for me. Now the things what we need to do is go into our print settings and everything's going to be the same. I'm still going to be printing on a matte paper for this one and boarded. And then what I'm going to do is in color mode, just change that to mono and then go back and then I'm going to select print. And hopefully we should have a nice black and white coming out. Okay, so here is the print. Now I have to say it is lovely and neutral. It's done a good job in the, that black and white mode there. What it has done very slightly is the resolution of the image. Now I think this was quite a re low resolution from my camera phone to start with. So that's probably where that comes from, to be honest. Now, the editing has worked quite well. I can see that's kind of, it. I've brought out the flower in here and it's lovely and neutral. What you have to kind of be aware of is it, it's not gonna center the picture properly for you and have these margins down the side. So you can either just chop those off or you can go into a secondary piece of software, a little bit like Adobe Comp, which is an app where you can do layouts and things and make sure you get your lovely even borders on there as well. So that's another option. So you can go through there. However, I have to say with both the color and the black and white print, it has done a pretty good job. Now I would say there is a very slight drop off in the contrast. So we might just need to be aware of that and add a little bit more in as printing. But generally on a whole, it hasn't done a bad job. I think if we've got custom profiles as well, printing through your computer is going to give you a better result because of those profiles, etc. And a little bit more control you have. Now it's worth having this in your arsenal when you're coming to printing because you never know. There may be that chance where you just need to quickly do a print for someone and you can quickly fire it off your phone from Lightroom or Snapseed or Photoshop, etc. So I hope that's been helpful. And it's not going to be for everyone, but the option is there if you need it. And for me, it's been quite a useful experiment to do. And to answer my question I said at the start, can you print from your iPhone successfully? I think the answer has to be yes, and you can. So I hope that's been useful. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click that bell icon to receive the notifications and click the subscribe button as well. And don't forget we have new videos coming out every week on the PhotoSpeed YouTube channel. Please, if you have any comments at all, please put them below. Like I said, this probably isn't going to be for everyone, but it's always nice to know the options there. And I'll see you next time.